Hello! This week I'm going to be talking a little bit about how GDEX went. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about good practices for when you're trying to develop skills once again. So I've talked about this before, but I want to talk a little bit more specifically about consistency this week. Um, I will then talk a little bit about uh, the current state of electric flow. So, hope you enjoy! We just finished the fifth year of GDEX, or the Game Developer Expo here in Columbus, Ohio, and it ended up going wonderfully. We had world-class speakers from the game industry come, and we've had our vendors really step up their production this year. It's amazing, year by year, as people come back and they see what everybody else is doing, all of the developers keep trying to push themselves, and there's this healthy competition where everyone's products are getting more and more amazing and more polished every year. So if you haven't had a chance before, in future years you have to come to GDEX. It is just that awesome. Now during GDEX I had the opportunity to do three different sessions. One was uh, a design workshop, so I went over level design. Um, I was able to be part of an art mini mentorship, which was me reviewing people's portfolios and giving them guidance for how to more set that up, polish it, um, figure out their directions, uh, look at their personal brand and things like that. So it was just more of those conversations while looking at their portfolios to give them direction. And then the third was a talk on dehumanization, what its history is, what its uses are, um, and alternatives to dehumanization to help create more depth within story. Now, uh, through the conference, I started thinking about it. I've been giving a lot of talks to a lot of different groups, doing a lot of different presentations, but it's always a one-off, uh, which you know is great because when I talk with a group, I'm able to get feedback from them, I'm able to communicate with them, and it really is better to get that information live because of that personal interaction. And even as a presenter, that helps me to be better at sharing my message when I actually get feedback from an audience. I've, t I've talked about this before on, on these videos. But it also limits the, the use of the information. I put this stuff together, I get my thoughts collected, and I present, and it just kind of stays there. So what I'm thinking of doing is in future weeks, there'll be a lot longer um, episodes, but potentially pulling out some of these talks and presentations that I've given over the last five, six years, uh, and recording them, just talking through it, uh, getting the information out there, and hopefully it'll be something that's of use to you. So I'll probably start doing that maybe once a month or something like that until I, I work through some of the materials. But it's a direction I want to go because honestly, if we take the time to share a message, if it's appropriate for one location, it's probably useful information for others. And I'm a big believer in free exchange of information, uh, trying to help other people out, trying to support other people. So I encourage you within your own lives, look at places where you are a teacher. Everybody's a teacher in some form or another. We communicate with coworkers, we communicate with others at school, we communicate with any time that you're trying to help somebody out, you are teaching, you are educating. Look at the things that you're able to help others with and see if there are formats where you can actually spread that to people who may not normally hear it, but might need to hear it. And so uh, that, that's kind of my, my thing this week. I don't really have anything uh, in depth, no, no specific messages to give. But I'm doing these videos right now out of a sense of consistency. In previous videos, I've talked about uh, like learning practices and things like that with setting goals, with skill development, with uh, trying to learn how to do something better. Another key component is consistency. So whether I want to each week or whether I feel up to it on a particular week, if I want to get better at doing this, I have to stay consistent. So that's what this is. This is me trying to be consistent and keep up my weekly goal. Some of these weeks are not going to be the greatest. I'll do these recordings and they will end up messed up. I've had some that were kind of ruined because of audio quality, some where I just I wasn't on my game and I was having trouble talking or communicating, and some that have worked out very well. But as I continue to stay consistent through the ups and the downs, eventually these are going to improve. And the same is true for anything that you attempt. If you will consistently do things, you'll consistently work at it and strive to improve, 
you're going to see that growth. Not all at once, and you'll have ups and downs. You'll have a, a period of time where you feel like you're doing great and great and great, and then you won't understand why you're doing so poorly afterwards. Well, that's just the nat or the nature of it. Those are natural fluctuations with any, any type of development. And so I'm doing this video this week to stay consistent. On that note, electric flow. We've got the new systems in. However, now we're trying to deal with some bugs that have shown up. So once we get finish all the bug repairs, make sure that it's polished and ready to go, we will have a new build available. And so stay tuned. As soon as we have something, we'll, we'll put it out there for you. So, And once again, you're catching that I have the naughty words again. I keep saying so and um and stuff like that. So it's something else I need to become more consistent about and work on. Uh, that's it for the video this week. Thank you for watching. Bye.